yes hi in this video I will be showing you how to update the iDRAC firmware and um, also update the BIOS for um, Dell PowerEd server so here I have the server in which the firmware for the bio for the iDRAC is 1.57.57 so I need to update this and also I'll be updating the BIOS version from 2.2.2 the latest version of the BIOS. So let's first begin with the um, iTrack firmware up upgrade. So for that you need to go to the iTrack console um, and here I'll be choosing the update and rollback option and you need to also go to dell.com dell support.dell.com and then using your uh, service stack number you can download the uh, the correct version, the correct firmware update uh, file. I've already downloaded it here, so I'll be just using this file and then hit update. And once this, once it has been uploaded, you can just select your file and then hit install and hit OK. So at this point, you will not see any notification or anything here. Um, I will tell you that if installation uh, that that what's going on in the background. So what you can do is you can run a ping test um, because this iDrive will restart, and once and you can see it from the ping that if it has been restarted or not. Refresh the screen. All right, as you can see, that the um, firmware has been upgraded to the latest firmware version. Uh, the next step is to um, um, update the BIOS on the server itself. So for that, you have to launch the console. And uh, first, you need to go ahead and download the right driver from Dell's website. So there are many different options that, that, that Dell provides uh, when it comes to updating the BIOS. Um, uh, so whatever way is convenient for you, you can, you can, you can choose that. Uh, if you are running a Windows server on the server itself, then it's pretty easy You just download this file and then run it from Windows itself. Next time when you boot, it will update the BIOS. If you're running something else, like for example, I'm running ESXi, uh, VMware ESXi. Uh, so for me, I will have to either do uh, a bootable ISO or using the EFI file. Um, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to do it using the um, using I mean creating a bootable ISO from this executable file. So I downloaded this executable file. Um, and you can either create a bootable USB flash drive or since I'm using iDRAC um, so I'll create the I'll attach the bootable ISO from the iDRAC itself there's a utility that you can use to create bootable ISO it's called the DRNK boot disk generator um, so what you do is you download your executable file um, from from Dell's website and then you save that executable so if I open up this tool um, this whole thing um, is a tool in which there's a folder called extract here so I save that executable file in this folder which is extract here for your convenience you can change it to let's say BIOS update dot executable um, and then you go one step back and then there's a batch file it's, it's called generate disk dot batch um, so what it does is basically there's an ISO file that was already created a long time ago so I'll delete that 
and you hit generate bat. So what it what will do is it will take this executable and will generate an uh, an ISO file. And there it is. The del boot dot ISO has been generated based on this executable. So I'll be using this ISO file and attaching it to the iDRAC and then run then I'll reboot the sorry and attaching this to the iDRAC console uh, to the server console and then we'll reboot it. So for that you need to go to virtual media, connect virtual media and then uh, after that you choose map C D. Uh, you can browse to that place where you have the uh, the uh, the Dell ISO image, and then you hit map device. So once you see your check boxes here, the next thing is you go to next boot and change it to virtual CD. And I hit OK. So next time you boot, it will boot from this virtual CD. And we'll choose this media. So I'll uh, <coughs> I'll restart this server. Okay, so it's now putting into the bootable ISO that we had connected. Uh, so from here, I'm just going to hit enter. Or if you don't hit enter, it will do itself. Um, okay, so that's the virtual CD that we had connected. Um, and this is just like a DOS. Um, DOS prompt. So when I hit directory, you will see the BIOS.executable. So this is the same BIOS file that we had copied here. So BIOS.executable. And then you hit BIOS.executable. Enter. Key to continue, and I'm going to replace 2.2.2 with 2.504. So hit Y to continue. And from here on, it's going to take a couple of minutes. Uh, the system will shut down and will come back up itself. Um, and also it will disconnect next time when you will boot it will boot no more and then you can go ahead and later on you can disconnect the disconnect the virtual media so I'll pause the video when I will be about to finish this install uh, reboot I will uh, resume the video again okay the install, install installation has been completed so I'm just gonna uh, restart the server. So the server is coming back up again. Uh, just restart, reboot it. And you see the firmware is 2.5.4. Um, so that's it. The firmware has been updated. Um, it will take 
few minutes to eventually show up in the iDRAC. Uh, and that's about it. So this is how you can install the firmware on or the BIOS on the Dell uh, Dell PowerX server. So there it is, I can see that the um, BIOS version has been upgraded to 2.5.4 and the server is also coming back up. Um, thank you so much for watching this video.